Poetry Portfolio, a 1970 project, Bentley High School, Livonia, Michigan. Night in the forest. The ancient forest sleeps in restless bits, while mournful trees moan songs of days gone by. The ink-like darkness softly mills around, a flowing sable blanket on the world. But overhead the stars begin to glow, and sky above becomes a sea of milk. Night in the Forest. A speck of dust sailed endlessly the river of the sky. Although he was too small to see, he thought, what fears have I? For I am master of all things, and nothing threatens me. And surely I am king of kings, as all can plainly see. And so our speck went floating round, and never noticed us. And then one day a foot came down and ground him into dust. The speck. The busy bees are going buzz far better than a buzz saw does. They fly so high up in the sky, but no one ever did know why. If I can ever leave the ground, I'll take right off and there be found. Fly away. As darkness settles round the somber wood, the air is filled with ghoulish sounds of night. The moon hurls down his pale but piercing rays from haunted regions high above the earth. Amid the shroud-like shadows far below, a headstone shimmers in the phantom light. A pallid visage of a light now spent. Moonlight. Of that night, I most remember the cold. Not uncommon for November nights, but what was wrong? Walking alone through desolate expanses was I, and the black of night smothered all life and light except for me, walking and walking. The stillness hung like fine silk drapery, and yet Yet the air tingled with an electrified tension. Very strange, thought I, walking and walking. Abruptly a presence ahead stopped me and fingers of icy dread crept into my soul and no longer could I walk. Something was out there, somewhere, everywhere. Something brooding, contemplating me darkly, enclosing me with invisible walls. Lips parted in a soundless scream, I realized who was there. It was the silence. It was cold. I could not get out. Silence. The clouds did roll in from the north, their faces lined with scorn. The moving wall advancing forth proclaimed the coming storm. The wind did blow with awful force, the trees did bend and sway as dauntless tempest marched its course throughout that long black day. The thunder pounded deep and long, a sound of mighty dread. And where was I when this went on? Quite safe beneath my bed. The storm. The teeny boppers stormed the hall. They came in varied throngs, the hippies, hippies, panthers all, to groove upon some songs. The groups were really where it's at, their hair in many shapes, and over thirty cat would swear they must be apes. The music really made them freak, a high-pitched frenzied roar, and all who heard it had a week in which their ears were sore. The concept. Night in the forest is an example of figurative language. Fly away is an example of sound devices. 
the speck is an example of symbolism. Moonlight is an example of unrhymed poetry. Silence, an example of imagery. And storm, an example of rhyme. The concert is the encore. If you have school projects, find them, share them, for they are your past self. Speaking to the future, speaking to all of us. Let them breathe, let them fly, let them out. <laughs>